Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can use a PowerCat to create a reverse shell from your Windows system to your Kali machine. So first, let me introduce to you what is PowerCat. So PowerCat is a tool that can implement the features of NetCat in a PowerShell script. It also contains extra features such as built-in relays, execute PowerShell, and DNS Cat 2 client. So what you need to do first is to install PowerCat in your Windows machine. So first, you need and you need to go to a folder. Start a file in this folder. So let me copy and paste file here. Enter. Oh, this has been blocked by your antivirus software. So what you do is to turn off your time protection. Your Windows security. Go to virus and threat protect. Settings and turn it off. Okay. Close, close. And let's try one more time. Okay. We're done. So, next, what you need to do over here, Kali, is to start a listening shell. So first, you need to use NetCat to create a listening port. NetCat is also a very powerful tool that can create a listening port. So you can see here there are different options. So first, you need this uh, dash L to for the listen mode, and also the dash V for the verbose, so that. It, can see additional details once we successfully connect to the, the machine and we also need to have the port that is the port over here worker port number okay so let's give you a try so we will create a listening port first to do lvp and the port number is 443. And you will start listening on port 443. So on the other hand, on your Windows machine, if there's any vulnerabilities, the attacker can use this vulnerability to gain access to the Windows machine. And once it's able to do that, you can start to execute a code to create a connection back to your Kali machine. So what you can do is to use the power cat and I mean power cat and dash c so that is the ip address so the ip address of my card machine 0 0.14 and the port number is 443 and the executable is cmd.p So run PowerCat, dash C for IP address, port number is 443, and executable is cmd.exe. And you enter. So as you can see here, it has successfully connected back to our Kali machine. And now what we are seeing is the Windows machine. So if in the type IP config, the C. So if you type IP config, this is what you will see is the IP address of my Windows machine. So that's it for my short tutorial. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of how you can create a reverse shell from your Windows machine to your Kali machine using our cat tool. So if you like this video, I appreciate you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next 